Hey everybody, I'm back. It's the NTNA recap show this time for real. We have Jan Arnold in the house. She's made it. She's traveled really far from the queendom of CNG to be here. So get comfortable and we'll be right back in a minute to start the show. Koopa is proud to announce two new additions to the Manny Pro Passport family. Introducing My Prince and My Princess. Complete with an acetone resistant control box and your choice of the KP60 or KP55 handpiece with speeds up to 30,000 RPMs. For more information, call 1 800 994 5872 or visit us online at www.coopainc.com. Koopa is proud to introduce Koopa Base Coat, a superior adhesive between nail plate and gel products without damage to the natural nail. Also, Koopa High Gloss and Koopa Matte Top Coats, both no wipe, an excellent sealer, and last two to four weeks. Now we have the Trio Pack, which include both high gloss and matte top coats and a free base coat. For more information, call 1-800-994-5872 or www.koopainc.com. Colors and patterns help us express ourselves, show the world who we are. Sometimes I wake up and I feel girly, sometimes I'm flirty, sometimes I feel free, but most days I just feel like me, show the world who you want to be. Color me curious. Join us May 29th on our Facebook page for the big reveal. Another episode of the NTNA Recap Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am your host, Elaine Watson, Executive Vice President of Koopa Incorporated. As usual, I am joined by my beautiful co-host, Beth, Beth Livesey, <laughs> Executive it's Editor of Nails Magazine. I can't ever get it right. It's fine. <laughs> and OMG, we are joined by Jan Arnold, the queen of CND. Oh, so Everything. Nice I know. Welcome. Welcome. I get so goosebumps introducing you. Oh, oh. Well, we're, we're friends from way I back. Know. I know. My it's sister so from another mister is here. I'm really excited. <laughs> I can't sit still. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's, it's true. Yeah. So, just if you, you know, didn't know, this is CND's week. This yeah. is a big yeah. week. Yeah. yeah. The biggest week. It, the biggest well, week. Yeah. It's so exciting. Yeah. And to look at the videos and to look at the nails, I have to admit, got a little for cleft. Aww. Got a little yeah. for cleft. There's you know? some history in these. There's yeah. some amazing history. Uh -huh. yeah. And to hear it being told by these yeah. amazing finalists kind of puts a new light on it for me. It is, so. it's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. a wonderful trip down CND memory lane. Totally. Yeah, totally. and uh, for good reason, cause CND is celebrating the Ruby anniversary. 40 years. That's wow. incredible. Yeah. Wow. You started when you were two years old. Two years old. <laughs> Look, yes. how young. It is so young. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go with that story. Uh -huh. but, um, but literally to go, from the garage with an idea that my father had to now working for a public company, like yeah. the road that that has taken. Wow. Yet for me, the mission, the vision, um, the whole perspective that I have mm -hmm. on the industry has really been unwavered. It's, um, Beautiful. it's all about innovation. It's all about education. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's all about the fabulous nail pro. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's our motivation. That's that's why the 40 years have gone like that. Aww. Amazing. You, they say when you love what you do, you never work a day in your right. life. You right, never right. work a day in your life. No. It's almost like slightly illegal. 
how much fun <laughs> I love that. Yes, Slightly yeah. illegal. How much fun do we have in this nail industry? Seriously. Right, right. Yeah. It's I mean, true, it's true. Seriously, it's, true. it's yeah. like every day it's something new. Mm -hmm. New innovation opens the door to new ideas and yeah. new techniques and, you know, a new ability to express ourselves right. through nails. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes NTNA one of the biggest joys, seriously, yeah. of my life. Like Thank you. I know. the days where I can vote and spend oh. three to four hours. <laughs> huh? I take this very she really seriously, takes it seriously, seriously as we yeah. all got to. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. got to. Yeah. But because they certainly do. Oh, geez. well, yeah. hours. Yes. Of they work. give up their life. Hours. They put their life on hold. Unbelievable. Yeah. 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 But to get to know them, yeah. to uh -huh. see their techniques to see their professionalism and yeah. like all the components that we analyze it's about nail artistry but mm -hmm. it's about so much more yeah you know and that's yeah. the joy of it that video yeah. really pulls in like their personality too you can't yeah. just and and on our show i snoop their facebook so oh, each episode you know we're throwing some of their personal lives up there so it becomes so much more three-dimensional than just a nail competition, right, I think. Right, right. Well, and then when we see each other in Orlando, I know. it's the next wildest, in next week, <laughs> yeah. it's the wildest emotion because right, yeah. right, right. you feel like these these three finalists are your family. Exactly. Yeah. They're like, you watch them every single week, you know them, mm -hmm. and then to see them live and in person, it's like you want to run over and like, like just grab yeah. them and squeeze yeah, them. I yeah. feel like I know everybody. You almost can't believe they're real. No. Because like you watch yeah. them do these magic tricks each and every week. And then it's you're true. like, wow, you're a real yeah, a human, human being. being. I know. So yeah. when we see you and yes. we yeah. squeeze you and we hold you and love you, like uh -huh. that's like, yeah. that's the emotion. I know. It's going to yeah. be a giant industry snuggly hug totally. at that Serious. party. Yeah, absolutely. At that Serious. party. Yes. I yeah. can't even imagine. Yeah. It's uh, We asked Valerie, you know, because she's last year's winner, and she was just saying, you know, that night goes by like a blur mm. because it's yeah. just so much excitement for an entire evening, you know. I just hope these three people are able to slow it, slow-mo yeah. it down and live and enjoy in this it. moment. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. it. Not be nervous. Yeah. Savor every little right. drop of emotion. Yeah. Right. Remember it forever. It's a life changer. It really life is. Yeah. yeah. And we had Winnie on as well. And I mean, look at how her I life. I mean, Winnie. she's doing so videos for. She's CMD. her own celebrity. She's she famous. is. Yeah, she's, she's famous. 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 Yeah. She just ended up in the Klein Report. Yeah. Oh. At one, a huge marketing. That's like, awesome. Oh. Consumer marketing. That's report. awesome. Congrats, As Winnie. An emerging like rocket ship. Good. Rock star. Oh, her Klein's oh my huge. God. Yeah. Is huge. I love so, um, but we knew it. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. We exactly. knew it. Our first, well, I don't know if it was your first, my first time meeting Winnie was on Nailed It. She yes. was on, she yes. was a contestant. Yes. And that was the first time I ever heard her name, met her, seen her, and looked to see her go from that to where she is now. That's when you and I, Yikes, I know. were judges. Yeah. And it was like being in the so Hunger Games. I want to so be <laughs> honest there. Like you would show up, they would throw a producer in your ear. Yeah. And we saw Winnie from afar, but we couldn't talk. We couldn't interact with couldn't the contestants. Couldn't interact with the, but, but we knew, we looked at Winnie and said, she's gonna be somebody. Yeah. She's yeah. gonna make it. So. She has so much personality. I love her. Love her. So it's it's exciting to see people go through these transitions being either on Nailed It or on NTNA yeah. and you know, we have this digital world now. It's not just the pages of Nails magazine, right, right. but it's digital and how many of them have taken their career to different places because they're utilizing the digital. Right, because there's new yeah. places to go. So exciting. Yeah, that's exactly. right. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. But yeah. I think it takes guts to go there. Major guts. Mega you guts. know, yeah. like you can do great art, but to have the confidence, yeah. to have the charisma, mm -hmm. to put yourself out there, Vulnerable people like Winnie yeah. they, and and so many of our champions, Tracy and Valerie, yeah. they make it look easy. Totally, but it takes grit, mm -hmm. it takes guts, mm -hmm. and it takes a leadership mentality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and definitely. I, and that's what the champion is all about. Absolutely. Yes, it's great artistry. Yeah, but it's great leadership, and you yeah, know, you really like. Miss Universe. Just had that in my head. I'm Miss not even Universe. kidding. You're yeah. representing the nail industry. Exactly. Globally. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Is that reading me? <laughs>
right there. <laughs> it's exactly how I feel about well, it. I do too. Because I also feel like I want that top three to be people who fit that mold yeah. and are so thankful to be there right. and just want to pass it on too. You know, being mentored and then mentoring. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like I want to see. I want to see that kind of a person win. Well, and you can tell. Like yeah. when when the contestants, when the finalists arrive at the show, we've had many experiences where the person with the posture, mm. walking tall and mm -hmm. proud into the room, the person unifying the mm -hmm. other two mm -hmm. finalists, yeah. like from the moment you arrive until the moment we're on the stage for awards, yeah. you know, it's, it's are you modeling the persona of a leader and a winner. Yeah. So Superwoman. never let your guard down. I always <laughs> also true. say that to to my educators okay. who work at yeah. CND. Like I think when you walk into a room, you want people to turn their head and say, mm, "There's a pro." Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. a pro. Yeah. That's, That's good what advice. Our industry. You know, even during setup mm -hmm. day or during travel day, this is not the day to put on schleppy clothes. No. <laughs> you are representing so who you are. Also, yeah. fabulous nails. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was agree. looking at that throughout yeah. the competition. Yes. The, the competitors who really paid attention to their own nails. Because yep. yep. that's our calling card. That's yep. true too. Absolutely. That's it. Um, you really never know when you're gonna have a nail tech in an airport or on the street who knows you and you end up on Facebook looking like a schlep. No. Right? That ain't right. That's the last thing I ever want. If I know that there's any chance that this is gonna end up on Facebook, it's oh, gotta yeah. be done. Oh yeah, it's gotta be <laughs> It's gotta done. be. And, yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. the nail state yeah. as well. Gotta represent. Totally. So, if anybody, I wanted to have a picture, and I'm sorry, I didn't even get it, but this is a good plug for nails right now. If you have not seen the cover that you that you guys did for CND for your Ruby, oh, okay. that corset, I just want to have a minute April, about April the corset. April issue. April issue, April of April nails issue. has the front and the back yeah. of the corset. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, that. let's that talk about so it because funny. I I reached out to you right away and was like, oh my god, that corset. Tell me about <laughs> it. But I would love the viewers to hear about what went into that amazing piece. This corset. So, so actually, we are going into our thirteenth year of partnership with designers, the blondes. Yeah, and they are corset makers for Lady Gaga, Katy Perry. Beyonce, they do these couture pieces uh -huh. that are like museum quality. And David Blonde reached out to me and he said, Jan, how come we've never made a corset Aww. out of nail tips? Mm. Like a nail yeah, tip why? corset. Why? <laughs> yeah, why? And I'm like, well, let's, let's go for it. Duh. So I call all my ace pros, Shalina, yeah. Heather, Tracy, like all our top, top pros. And I said, we've got to go to work creating lo like various lengths and widths of nail tips yeah. in um, wildfire shellac with okay. Swarovski crystals uh, adorning them. Yeah. They made thousands of nail tips. I think 5,000 five was like in our conversation. It was more maybe. Uh, it looks like f at least. The labor, the materials. Yeah. Oh. I mean, this corset is really worth tens of thousands of dollars. So we ship a big box of nail tips over to the blondes, and then they go to work doing a custom corset. And it's a real corset wow. where you have to like oh give somebody. Love that kind. It takes, Always, it yeah. takes three people to get me into the Hold on corset. to the bedpost. Somebody's <laughs> holding on to me, oh and God. then you put the corset on. And actually, Cannon, who's one of the stylists for the blondes, he knows how to do it, puts the top of his head in the pit of your oh back my God. Oh my and then uses it as <gasps> oh leverage to pull oh my God. and literally what they're doing is they're cinching your waist in as tight as possible but leaving room to breathe gorgeous but um but it is it is such a stunning piece it was. and so generous of the blondes uh -huh. to 
gifted, you know, after oh, they made it. Oh, that's it, nice. It I was going to ask. The runway it needs to be in a C&D museum. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, it and needs to be in. I loved the idea of pairing that beautiful pink, I want to say it was a pink, that I recall, yeah. like a pink, pink blouse. shade blouse yeah. Yeah. underneath the corset yeah. was such a beautiful decision. It was so pretty. Oh, the thank couture, you. The, the points of the corset coming up. I was just jealous. I really loved it. Oh. And you know, too, I've seen a lot of things done with nails because we're in that industry right but this like at first glance I you don't you don't know, know it's, it's nails tips. yeah it yeah, really yeah. looked like it really yeah masquerade just fine yeah. couture right yeah. and then you realize it's all nail tips Incredible. well and the coolest moment is seeing this corset walk the runway and we're sitting there mm. with every major fashion buyer fashionista socialite and they're saying what a stunning, glimmering, gorgeous mm -hmm. piece. Yeah. And then when you say, look closer, mm -hmm. it's nail tips, it blows their mind. Oh, I yeah. bet. Yeah. So, but now yeah. the blondes are motivated. They're like, let's do a train. Yeah. Oh, and let's we, do a like, what's the spin. next? Yeah, yeah, let's see let's what's the next. Going. That yeah. would yeah. be yeah. really cool. It would be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, I would like to throw a little cred to our friends in the UK who do Scratch Magazine because that's where I saw it first. Yeah. Right. And it had your face, oh. and and she and Alex Fox, who's my friend, and we run Nailympia together. So I obviously talk to her on the daily. Said you were going to be on the next cover with your face, but didn't tell me anything beyond that. And no. I was like, "What a great thing!" Yeah, oh, well, to have you how on there. generous! Yeah, really. um, I was on the phone talking to her about Nailympia. And she said, you know, would you like to be a judge? Uh -huh. I think it was at the time for Houston. Yeah. And I said, well, you know, this year is a big year. And Busy. March 1st, <laughs> like all this activity is happening. Uh -huh. And she said, what? Well, what are you talking about? And I told her about the 40th. And she said right away, yeah. let's Send do the something. Picture. I went to work sort of writing a lot of stories. Mm. Like you know, going back in history, talking about our our trail of innovation mm. and the family story and yeah. so many things that, um, you know, that are a part of the fiber and the makeup of CND. And she said, well, let's tell the story. Let's do mm -hmm. it. So she generously gave us 10 pages wow. to Incredible. really lay the story out mm -hmm. and tell it properly. And um, it'll be a keepsake for life, yeah. you know, until yeah. until the next 40th. Uh, to add more. To add more. <laughs> right. <Yeah. Exactly. laughs> You'll need another 10. Uh, no, or more. So we, were, we were so grateful. Yeah. And we've received so many beautiful comments from nail pros yeah. around the globe celebrating with us. That's awesome. Which we are so grateful. So thank you. Aww. Well, we do have a competition. And I bet we, we have three very nervous. Uh, competitors yeah, waiting to hear us talk about here. Them. Okay. I, I would. Yeah. Now we're putting them. But before before we start talking and, and showing what they have submitted for the CND sponsored week, I do want to throw it to Beth to explain, in case we have new viewers, what's the NTNA? <laughs> right. So Nail's Next Top Nail Artist is the only online professional nail competition. We're in our sixth season. And each week during the regular play of the competition is sponsored by a major nail manufacturer, such as CND or Koopa. And each week we've eliminated a contestant and also we've named a winner for each week. Now we're at the point of the competition where we only have three contestants remaining. And this is the final challenge. It's not really a regular weekly challenge because it's going to go all the way up until Premier Orlando. We'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, so we're down to it. In, a, in just over a week, we'll have a winner on, on June 1st. Mm. Yeah. So exciting. I know. The grand finale. It's been months. Yeah. We're getting yeah. there. Finally. Finally. Um, I do want to remind all of the viewers in the Koopa Facebook Live and in the Nails Magazine Facebook Live to start asking questions yes. for Jan because this is your chance to, to get her ear without 50 million people getting yeah. her ear at the yeah, same time, although they kind of will. We'll have to filter yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but before we also talk about the nails, we should explain the challenge. Right. Because they had quite a lot to do. Yeah. And a very specific <laughs> challenge. We weren't easy on them. You shouldn't be. So the, the, <laughs> you shouldn't be. <laughs> this is like huge. So um, the final challenge, I believe we were in San Diego and we we're talking about CND40. And so naturally we thought 
40 nails for the 40th anniversary. Mm. So Jan kind of broke it down into the chronology of C and D. So four sets of nails. So the first set was about the family story and sort of talking about the background with Jan's dad, um, Dr. Stuart Nordstrom. And then the second set was sort of this homage to Solar Nail, which came out in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And then the third set was an homage to Cynthia Rowley and um, C&D's work with her. She was the first fashion designer you guys worked with. Um, and so we wanted a watercolor set um, that sort of paid tribute to Cynthia Rowley. And the fourth set was a, um, it was about Brisa. Brisa. It was like a look into so. the future. So kind of like a crystal ball, like what do you think the future of nail trends holds for you? Yeah, Very so they had, they had to do four sets, they were due Monday, two mm -hmm. days ago. And so we have videos that kind of show a little bit of each of them. But then we called them on the phone <laughs> and we There's decided. But just when you think it's safe decided, to go back in the water. Oh, four sets were just not enough. No. So well, we, and I must say these three, they're unflappable. Yeah. Like they're, mm -hmm. we laid down the twist to them and they're like, Totally no, they cool. were very, they were they reacted very well. They were very positive yeah, they did about it. Good. it. They, they took that well. But let's be honest, what would not be positive about talking yeah. about revolutionary innovation mm -hmm. and bringing that to life mm -hmm. on a set of nails? Yeah. So the subject, can we reveal? Say it. All right. So the biggest innovation in nails in all time was C and D shellac oh, in yeah. 2010 where I remember sitting with our marketing team and mm -hmm. our R&D team saying, what are the pain points that women suffer from mm -hmm. with traditional nail polish? Mm -hmm. Cracking, chipping, breaking, sheet marks, yeah. all of these issues. And we said to our scientists, go in the lab and here's what we want. Yeah. We want it to go on like polish, we want it to be tough like a gel, mm and we want it to come off in less than 10 minutes yeah. with zero, no nail damage. Yeah. And, and so what happened quickly is the, all the scientists went into the laboratory, yeah. three and a half years later, mm. they came back with shellac that lasted 14 plus days and wore like a gel. And we're like, boom, achievement, Ooh, yeah. let's, yeah, what are we gonna <laughs> Ooh, call yeah. it? But then they said removal is 30 minutes. Oh no. no and we no, said, no, 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 yeah. go back into the lab. We want it under 10 minutes. Yeah. You know, it took two more years oh, wow. to get the tiny tiles oh, through heard the it. coating. Yeah, yeah, they figured out how during curing to get the solvents to evolve through the coating, oh. leaving these little tunnels. Oh. So when you put the wrap on with the remover, the acetone the, the trickles remover, down, trickles Brilliant. down until Beautiful. it it hits those self-releasing polymers, mm -hmm. and then you can go boom with yeah. no nail damage. Thank so you. revolutionary. So how these three contestants will tell the story? Mm. Will they take the the path of science? Mm. Will they take the path of revolutionary breakthrough? Mm -hmm. Is it fireworks? Is it molecules? Right. Like I'm dying to see yeah. how they right. Were there it. any limitations? Like They had to use shellac yes. and then they're, they have to wear the nails. Okay, so they have so to be, be wearing, wearing these nails at the to show. our event. Good. Yes. And no like length. Well, typically shellac could be any length. Yeah, yeah. Because if your natural nails are long, we shellac to corset. Oh, yeah, there you go. So yeah, right. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this will be exciting then to see what they. This is yeah. Fun. And I did see one of the competitors have mentioned it, it about Instagram. Are they Instagramming or videoing no, or I doing? There's nothing added to the challenge. when she comes okay. to Orlando, she'll she's have to do on something. Her on. Okay. Cool. I mean, nails will post it. We'll get pictures of all of them and we'll post them. But yeah. no, they they still have time. Okay. They have a little extra time yeah. to work on it. Yeah. So we have three competitors and we have a video and four nail sets to show for each competitor and we'll powwow about them uh, in always in alphabetical order. Our first competitor that we're going to show is Ashton Harlan from Las Vegas, Nevada. And we'll show the video first and then we'll all come back and talk about the nails uh, as, as we've laid them out. So let's go to the video. Hey everyone, welcome to the finale of Next Top Nail Artist Season 6. 
We were asked to create four sets of nails that celebrate C&D's 40th anniversary. Let's begin this journey by celebrating the Nordstrom family who founded the company of C&D. Each family member played different but vital roles in creating the company that we know today as C&D. So I decided to create a jigsaw puzzle background because each family member played such an important role in the company's success. I think part of what made C&D so successful so quickly was the collaboration they had between family members of left brain and right brain thinkers. So the puzzle pieces also represent the logic or left brain thinkers. I also created an artsy family portrait to represent the right brain or the creative family members. I then chose to put Jan Arnold, co-founder of C&D, between the puzzle pieces and the artwork because she has such a strong love for her family and her company. And here's my complete look for set number one. For the second set, we're focusing on solar nail, liquid and powder. Solar nail was the first ever cross polymer acrylic, which gave strength, flexibility, and a non-yellowing effect to nail enhancements. This formula was patented by Jan Arnold's father, Dr. Stuart Nordstrom, dentist and chemist. So for this set, I wanted to give the Forever French a modern twist by creating a kind of crisscross pattern to represent the nail industry's first ever cross-linked polymers. And here's my final look for set number two. In the 1990s, Jan Arnold brought nail art to the runway by collaborating with Cynthia Raleigh. So for my third set, I was inspired by Cynthia Raleigh's philosophy that fashion should be an adventure. This made me think of my own adventures, which led me to create mannequin nails which are flags of some of my favorite places to visit. I also created luggage nails, which represent the places that I would like to travel to. And here is set number three. For my fourth set, we're looking into the future of nails. My take on the future is that it is always evolving and can be manipulated by the things we do in the present. So I decided to create kaleidoscope inspired nails because when you look through a kaleidoscope, you can manipulate what you see by adjusting the angles or looking at it from a different point of view. Like looking into a crystal ball or through a kaleidoscope, I wanted these nails to be easily manipulated. So I created three pieces to each nail, which not only allows you to adjust the lengths of the nails, but also allows you to change the design and the patterns that you can see when you look through them. I also wanted to include a shape change, so you can go from square to stiletto just by sliding out a portion of the nail. The taper that a stiletto nail has keeps this piece from falling out of the structure of the nail.
I kept the overall design somewhat clear so that you can really see the change in pattern when you adjust the length. But I am addicted to color, so I used a flat brush to blend pigmented colors into the clear background, which added to the dimension of the nails. I also see the future of nails merging more and more with the accessories world, so I created these nails to be worn as rings. We were also asked to create a fifth set but to see those, follow me on Instagram, Miss Ashton, M I S A S H T O N, or find me at Premier Orlando. But for now, here is my final design. Thank you, Nails Magazine and CD and all the sponsors throughout Next Top Nail Artist. It's been amazing. Looking forward to meeting you all at Premier Orlando. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and you can find the voting link in the description below. So Ashton Harlan is the one that Beth and I love to kid about because she was in last season's right. and TNA. Right. And to me, that's like having babies back to back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like A lot of work. Yeah, because it was fresh. She knew how much hard work right. went into the last season right. and still dove right into the right. next Right, she season. said she didn't really stop because she said as soon as she got <laughs> eliminated oh. from Last Chant, she just started working on her video for this year. Yeah. Which is which is great. Yeah. I think it was a good idea. Yeah. And to pay attention to what the judges said previously. Yeah. Oh, she did. To really go, and she did. You oh, could she tell. did. <laughs> like, even week by week, yeah. you could see little tweaks being integrated, mm -hmm. yeah. little changes, you know, showing up in not only her work, but her videos, her, videos, yeah. mm -hmm. her tutorials. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm a real fanatic about, you know, not saying I did this and I did this and I did that but really teaching yeah. being directive yeah and I saw changes I yeah. saw shifts I did because mm -hmm. you know having done the recap show last year was our first time doing it right. so I I got to follow along so right. when she even just got started in the start of the season it was like oh she came uh -huh. she showed up and she's, it, she's like I want it this time of course yeah yeah let's talk about the first set the first set that Come I on. wanted to talk about was that I mean, picture it's a, of you it's a photograph of it's Jan. a pho it's it's like yeah. Looking in a mirror. Yeah. Yeah. So first of all, I want to say you got the hair. <laughs> the the yamaka either goes back or sideways yep. or up or down, but you, you she got really, it. And you know, you for it. me, she got your eyes. Yeah. And eyes yep. are really important. They're very telling. You you don't get those right. The rest is just someone else that kind of looks like you. It's true. And, and, and you your sequin eyes. jacket. And the Liberty, Liberty jacket. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. But Ashton is giving me a cue in this set of nails to say try stiletto nails <laughs> in bicycle <laughs> yellow. Which oh, I've never worn yellow nails in my the life. The hand is 
holding the frame. I totally missed that. I missed it, and Beth pointed it I out. It was the one very thing, very like, cool. I noticed, and I was like... Yeah, I have never I was seen like, you wear Ash, yellow. Jan does not wear yellow nails. <laughs> That's okay, Ashton. We but love you. Maybe, your... maybe I motivated. Oh, now okay, the hand, the hand is premiere, underneath. At premiere, you'll top. have yellow nails. At premiere, there if I oh have God. yellow nails, it's there because of there you, Ashton. I love it. But I I like the artistic portrait. interpretation on the portrait, because this is a real picture. Right. She showed in the video, but I know this picture very well. Amazing. I think this was in Nails Magazine in the very early days. This yeah, image. yeah. I remember it's that. It's actually from 1979, mm. the year that we incorporated. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what I really love about this set of nails, mm -hmm. most importantly, is um, the, the pieces of the puzzle. Yeah. Mm. Because, you know, each member of the family had a contribution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One without the other created an incomplete picture mm. and an incomplete team. Yeah. And each person, each piece of that puzzle had like a unique talent. Mm. You know, my, my dad, the chemist, my mm -hmm. brother, more manufacturing and finance, me, more marketing and education. And without each other, there would be a piece missing. Mm. So paying homage to the power of family, yeah. the power of team, um, the trust that is involved in building a family business, mm -hmm. building any business, I believe that this piece really, really captured mm -hmm. the heart and soul of CMD. Good mm -hmm. business is actually knowing everybody's strengths and making sure they're in it. And how lucky that you, you know, you're limited by your family members when you started this, that you had strengths in different mm -hmm. areas to make that come together. Yeah. Kismet. Kismet. It's and kismet. the fact that we could work together, fight for what we believed in. Mm -hmm. We always didn't agree, but we yeah. then always sat down to a family meal and did it with love. There you Aww. go. You know, you go. yeah, amazing. Okay. I want to go on to these pink and white Heck number yes. four, Marissa. Oh, oh yeah. I love, mean, come on. Love They're this so set. feminine. They're yeah. so architectural. And for me, I don't yeah. know if yeah. you guys see like, in its femininity, mm. it still shows molecules. Molecules. Yeah. And that was her science. style. Yeah. She wanted it to be scientific and molecules. Really? I just and added the bow. Yeah, I mean I just am really impressed when someone takes a pink and white and makes it so cool. And yeah. like, this is so avant garde and yet it's just still so beautiful and ribbon like mm -hmm. and she just like she put a bow on it. Like I just I, I love mm -hmm. how Ashton kind of wrap wrapped this up you know, Ashton style. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. And, and I have a quick little yeah. story that uh -oh. dawned on me when I saw these nails. Yeah. Um, Ricky, can you get John? That's okay. Uh, keep okay. going. We'll keep going. <laughs> the TV, the in TV quit the, on. It's <laughs> Samsung. Well, this, this episode yeah. is brought this to you by Samsung. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take, this I'm segment. Gonna, I'm going to take full responsibility for this because I always feel like when we're together, like Weird nail throw energy, like right? yeah, the, I'm surprised the the power hasn't gone completely out. Just, okay. just come. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna keep. Just, we're gonna keep going with this show. You let everybody just wave to the camera, John, when you come on. Okay. <laughs> Look, he's okay. like he's come like a deer on. in headlights. Am I gonna have to? Oh, go. he didn't even. Okay. Awesome. Uh, now I feel like we missed a golden opportunity to embarrass John. I know. <laughs> that would be good. Come on in. Come on um, in and join us. Yeah. So. Come on. In. Um, okay. Quick yeah. story. Yeah. Okay. Quick, quick, that Ashton probably doesn't even know the story, Ooh, oh. but she captured it in these gorgeous nails. Okay. Back in the day, so we went. Everyone knows the story. We, it, the, the standard procedure was linear, single-link polymer. Yep. My dad got his patent on cross-linked, which is what made the material resilient and flexible, mm -hmm. color stable. Well, back in the old, early Jack Sperling nail shows, yep. we would do nail competitions on the longest nail. Ah. And nail pros would come in with like tin foil forms uh -huh. that they would make. And the winners, I think the winner built like a three foot long Jeez, nail. That's nice. And what? there were people were using various products, but the girl who used solar nail at the end of the competition, instead of just laying it out on the table, she her model took the end of the tip 
and put it in her hand, oh, wow. and it created a ribbon. Oh my God! As thin as what Ashton did. Ashton. And she walked around oh. the trade show floor. All the rest of the nails snapped in half. Yeah, of course. Proving that, that single so link cool. was inferior. Wow. And this was resilient enough to make a ribbon. Do you think you still have a picture in the archives oh. somewhere of that? Probably I too hard. It was a long I time ago. I don't know. That, that would be cool. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? That would be cool to if we can find it and add it. Or get me some solar nail liquid and powder. And oh, we get Ashton. It. No, get Ashton. All right, Ashton. Here's your challenge. Video it while you're at it. It's so cool that that story just goes along so perfectly. Kismet. That. That's amazing. I love that. Yeah, I like things that you don't yeah. expect that are there and it's like fate put it there. Yeah. Her, her third submission, number five, Marissa, I thought was so cute was really to cute. do fashion. And she said, I believe she said that her um, main piece broke. So she had oh. to remake this, this oh. uh, map, I believe, last minute. But I feel like it's, it doesn't, you can't tell and it doesn't matter almost because the whole piece is so cohesive. And yeah. And it's so beautiful. Well, yeah. and it proves they always have taught us that when something goes wrong, never tell anyone. Right, right. Exactly. Because, because we you would wouldn't have known. known. Right, totally. Yeah, yeah agree. definitely. Yeah. Agree. yeah. But these mannequins, the the forms, the the coloration, yeah, the depth of yes. color created, yes. pattern. This, oh, my even gosh. she added a pattern to it's it. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I want. I mean, can you wear these? <laughs> I know. I wear these. Yeah. Okay, you heard it, okay, Ashton. Okay, I want to wear yeah. Her luggage even has I was going to say, I want flags. this luggage. Yeah, like, the, this, the luggage I want cool. to carry this luggage. It was super cute. Thank you, Ashton. Yeah. I, need, I need someone to make me some I, luggage. I want, I want some fancy luggage. Yeah. I've been carrying around, really. I'm I'm opening Facebook because I feel like I want to, while we keep talking, if I catch anything, okay. I want to be able to throw it out there because yeah. everybody's probably going, Elaine, I'm, I'm here. Hello. Um, I just, and I love, too, the watercolor. Yeah. Like, she has yeah. such a light touch and then I just it's a true watercolor piece but I love it I, I like it a lot I think it was really pretty ah uh, okay the next one though okay that's wait. gonna be a long conversation because okay. I just got a cramp in my back like switching to the next one like yeah. this this to me oh my gosh this to, well number five so uh, six sorry Marissa so six. we talked to Ashton on the phone a few weeks ago and we were kind of talking to each of the competitors saying like you know, where are you at and I remember she said, she gave us a hint, like, I'm having some engineering problems. And we were like, oh, you're engineering oh. something. Like, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, lo and behold, we Honestly. get work, they work, workable, shape-shifting nail extensions. Like, kaleidoscope-inspired, the pattern doesn't interfere as mm -mm. it pulls out or retracts. Like, this is so genius and amazing and different, and I just love that it's practical. Like, yeah. I love that she showed you could do this. Somebody yeah, could actually so pull this I, off. I would, I would yeah. do this. You totally would do it. I would do this, would do this in a heartbeat. I could see this on a runway. I could oh, see it. Yeah. Like, it is high fashion. Yeah. It speaks to Brisa. Like, Brisa yes. is all about clarity and the future of gel. Mm -hmm. Risa was the first ever non-acrylate gel, meaning it had a very low uh, allergic reaction mm -hmm. potential. So it was new technology, new chemistry. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she, she captured the clarity, totally. the technology, totally. the, this nature of future thinking. Oh my gosh. Um, and I'm really, really proud of Ashton that she completely stepped out of the box. Like she did. This is the finale. This is the kind and of stuff is. you've got to do yeah. at this you point in the competition because, yeah. yeah. you know, th this reminded me of last year, Valerie's submission where she layered, it was your... The finger gloves. That I too. Remember. She did the finger yeah. gloves, but then she, the museum piece she yes. did, had layers of layers of layers, and in her video, she's just stripping it off, and you're going, holy moly. So yeah, yeah. you have to be yeah. inventive and come out with something, and, and Ashton did that. True right, and I, and I do want to say too, I think it was an added challenge for them to do this particular challenge on an actual hand, because if you could do it over a set of nails, you, know, you could do something fun like that, but she showed us mm -hmm. you can actually wear mm -hmm. something that yeah. can be engineered, which is like, yeah. like a whole different, like yeah. a whole new level of respect. Functional for her. architecture. And the added Functional. rings yeah. to it, I thought was And then really she did cool. the rings too. Yes. I mean, she Serious. made the rings, like just, just crazy to me, but I, I loved, I loved 
great love yeah. these nails. Great like, job. I'm so glad you figured out all your engineering. I know. I know. It worked. I know. Good Whatever job, you did. Can't wait to see them in person. I know. Mm -hmm. Me yeah. too. I know. So our next competitor is Carly Sneer from oh. uh, Michigan. And we have her video to watch first, and then we're going to come back and talk about all of her nail submission. Mm -hmm. Hello, it's Carly Snar here with Neil's Next Top Nail Artist, and this is season six. This is our final challenge. This is the big one. There's only three of us left. This final challenge is sponsored by CND, and it's inspired by it being this year being their 40th anniversary of being a company. 40 years. So we had four different sets to do based off different eras and inventions that CND created. So hope you guys enjoy. This set is titled Fashion First and is inspired by the fact that CND loves to work with fashion and different designers on the runway. This is a bathing suit designed by Cynthia Rowley. Cynthia Rowley was the first fashion designer that CND collaborated with for wearing nails on the runway. We were asked to create this set using watercolor. I found a bathing suit and a dress off of Cynthia Rowley's website and I decided to inspire my <clears throat> nails based off these. I chose a bathing suit because when C&D originally worked with Cynthia Rowley, the theme of the nails for that set they did back in the 80s was a Qantas and that was all about silvery sea-like shades of polish. and what better to wear at the sea than a bathing suit so I decided to go with this and and Cynthia Rowley's website I found a lot of negative space so I wanted to create negative space across all 10 of these nails and I'm using actual watercolor paint and I'm using a really heavy pigmented amount of paint on my brush just to put the paint where I want it and then I go back in later and I soak up with a dry brush where I had just laid the paint and it creates a really cool effect. It's really a light layered look with the outside of the area you just painted having a little outline effect. And I went back in and based off the bathing suit, I wrote some words with the watercolor as well. I found it easier to write super small things with watercolor with a heavier pigment at first and then using that same effect to go back in and suck out some of the richness of that color and make it that diluted overlapping watercolor look. If you try and go too light with the watercolor, it just gets really hard to see and it's not as easy to work with in my opinion. So I went over and I sporadically put these words, the same words that were on Cynthia Rowley's bathing suit and I also added some of my own like CND. And on my two outside nails I added big bold letters Cynthia Rowley and creative nails. This next set is called The Family Story. It's all about the origins of CND and how it got started by Jan Arnold's father, Dr. Stuart Nordstrom, who was a dentist who ended up inventing some pretty radical nail products. To pay tribute to Jan's father and the starter of all things CND, I wanted to make a little abstract portrait of Dr. Stuart Nordstrom, Jan Arnold, and her brother Jim Nordstrom. I wanted to make the father the biggest image and I wanted to surround a bright rainbow aura because these three are just too iconic to not have auras around them. I made the CNDC logo at the bottom and filled in the background with black watercolor paint. And then I went in with very elongated kind of hidden letters and spelt words that are important to the CND brand like creative nail design, inventions, innovations, Dr. Stuart Nordstrom, Jan Arnold, and so on. In a voice call we had with Jan Arnold, I remember her saying that she was like salt and her brother was like pepper. And when they came together, they created this magical spice. So I wanted to immediately make salt and pepper shakers. I started by using builder gel to make these perfect little triangles. And then I could very carefully set them on a hexagon shape and with a flashlight LED curing light bulb, 
slowly and quickly cure each of these as you stack each side on and I sealed each side with a little string of gel polish and then I wanted to file off the very very top of the salt and pepper shakers so that we could fill them with our sprinkly sparkly salt and pepper. Jan said that she was salt and her brother Jim was pepper so I wanted to fill Jan's pot full of clear Swarovski crystal pixies and silver glitter and I filled her brother Jim's up with black Swarovski crystal pixies and black glitter. Next set is called Solar Power and it's all about Dr. Stuart Nordstrom and his invention of the solar nail, which was a very specific kind of acrylic that was good for not breaking and non-yellowing. And my solar powered nails are solar powered as well. With the solar nails, you could make perfect pink and white acrylic nails that did not yellow. So I wanted to do a crazy twist on the classic pink and white or forever French and just do all the different designs that I could think of using pink and white acrylic. And I made some different seashell looking designs. And once you like build those up, it's like so satisfying to file away and watch your creation come to life because it was hidden under all that acrylic. I thought this next set was super fun. It was inspired by the invention of Barista Gel, which happened in the early 2000s. And that is an era I know something about. We were to sculpt gel nails that gave a look into the future. So what better way to tell the future than to look at the past? So I was gonna think, let me look at some iconic things from the early 2000s and make nails based off my experience of the 2000s. So this is a technique I learned from Amy Becker, where you string the gel straight across the middle of the nail and balance it out the sides and then flip the nail upside down and let it self level itself. If you need to just barely tweak it, flip it back over and you can cure it. And here I'm just extending the length of the nail first and gel nails. Now to paint them. I am just obsessed with orange right now, so that's why I went with orange. And plus, c &D has a lot of really pretty orange colors. But what's more classic in the 2000s than a French tip and an airbrush design? As well as people, <laughs> for no reason, getting Mandarin tattoos that they probably don't know what they stand for. But I decided to pick some that were meant simple things like wind and earth and father and what is more 2000s than airbrush dolphins and playboy bunnies this is a sunglass i busted out and i cut up with my e-file to get these little shards of sunglass that ended up looking like the most precious little stones that i also wanted to mix with glass that I had collected from a car accident I was in that was in the sitting in the bottom of my purse and it was just so pretty and I was like I'm going to use this one day and what better time to use it than for the NTNA top three finale. So I put these pieces of sunglasses and broken glass on the nails and what's more 2000s than a coil cord phone. So I took this coil cord from an old phone, cut it, and adorned the nails with it. Thank you guys for following me on my journey through this crazy, crazy long year of Nails Next Top Nail Artist. I will have one more surprise set to be revealed in Orlando, and that will be starting May 30th through June 3rd will be the premiere Orlando trip. So get your tickets now for the NTNA finale party. Uh, hope to be seeing some of you there. Me and Jacob say bye. Say bye, Jacob. And we get to see Jacob again. How Perfect. cute is Jacob? So cute. Perfect. Right? I was telling Jan the story of, you know, when we did Carly's interview, 
she sends pictures, I asked for pictures for the interview and she sent me a picture of her when she was really young and it, like toddler. And there's a cat in the picture and I wrote her and I went, oh my goodness, that cat looks just like Jacob. And she was like, it is Jacob. Oh. So it A reminded me just how young Carly really is Aww. and just how old Jacob really yes, is. Exactly. Yes, exactly. I love it. But yeah, Aww. if you haven't watched the video, you should go back and watch Carly's interview because Jacob is a really main He's character. a great interviewer. He's, He's a great so interviewer. He's we should have him on the show. He gave eye contact. Yeah, he answers. He speaks. Yeah. He doesn't get nervous. He He's a little human. Yeah. He That's actually amazing. talks. He's super cute. Mentored by Carly. <laughs> Mentored yeah. by the best. Yeah, I love it. I think he must do, you know, little back rubs when she's in between oh. sets. Let's go to set number nine, Marissa. I love it. The detail and time that went into that pattern. Gorgeous. I think there's so much element in that green, you know, I don't know, would it be I called think, a filigree? No. Well, I think what um, Carly was going for since it's a fashion set, you yep. know, I think, I think she was having a little fun like you do with Libertine, right? With like the yeah. eyeball. Yeah, mixing the pattern. And kind of bringing that and then also kind of staying true to the... 90s watercolor Cynthia Rowley inspiration. Yep, beautiful. And you know, her inspiration was that swimsuit. And I'm, at first, I feel like I didn't get that. And then I saw the swimsuit in the video and I was like, oh wow. Yeah. yeah. She did she did that spot on. And then the technique, the light painting technique. Yeah. Like, that was just really cool. She overloaded that yes. high pigment yes. color on there, but then took a dry brush and sucked it, right, back, sucked out, it back out so yeah. it would leave the harsh outer edges. And yeah. I thought that was a really cool technique I to do teach too. on the video. I thought that was interesting. The, yeah. Yeah. the thing I've liked consistently about Carly is her personality in her yes, video. Absolutely. And she's a really good teacher mm. because of her personality coming yeah. through and yeah. she gives good tidbits absolutely. like that. I love, I've yeah. always, her videos I could, I could watch over and over yeah. again because she's just so damn cute. And so so easy to learn from. Yes. Yeah. Like you can feel the passion for every step, every technique. She really knows her product. Yeah. I call Carly the intellect. Yeah. Because <laughs> Carly won't talk about it or do it unless she really understands it. Which yeah. is so her write ups, yeah. the way she teaches, yeah. the way she does her artistry really educates and tells a true story. Yeah. And I happen to love, love, love this set of nails mm -hmm. Ooh, because nice. the eyeball, yeah. like yeah. Libertine, it's yeah. like, and it's sort of like Carly's It does, spirit, yeah. I the think, third I think eye. that's what it yeah. kind of looks like, mm -hmm. too. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe Very Jacob. So. Maybe Jacob. <laughs> keep, keep it an eye on Jacob is in there. I love it. A few little kitty hair. <laughs> Beautiful. I would love to go on uh, to number 10, Marissa. And let's talk about salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Do you remember pepper. the group salt and pepper? Yes. yes. <laughs> push it. Help it. Push it, girl. Push it. Yeah. Just push for, it. For me, this speaks to the intellect of Carly. Yeah. Where, yes, she captured the family story. She captured the original Sweeping Seed logo. Thank yeah. you. That was amazing. But somewhere, I believe it was in the Scratch article or one of the editorials, I talked about my relationship with my family and how yeah. we weren't always aligned on every idea. Which, like we would put a strategy yeah. together yeah. and I joke that I was always salt and my brother Jim was always pepper and somewhere in the middle like this wonderful spice was created. Yeah. Meaning what I wasn't cool always right it. and he wasn't always right. But combining, right. like you know I've always said if you have a really good idea, go to someone you really respect and trust and then you can give your idea with yeah. us. So I think, Carly, you did a great job of bringing, mm -hmm. it's it's subtle in the piece, yeah. right. but it was there and it was one of the first things I yeah, saw. It was cute the detail too that she put into making that salt and pepper shake. Yeah, she really, yeah. she really did a good job. She built yeah. it, which is cool. It's yeah. so much fun. And, but that we'll, pattern too in the background ended up being all abstract. It, it, there's a lot of writing in there. Yeah, there are a lot of words. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that kind of makes it very cohesive with the last set. Yeah. So I, I you yeah, can catch like wording. you can catch Nordstrom right yeah. under your brother. Secret messages. Yes, there are. And and I do have to admit that when I saw the portrait of Jim, yeah. I thought initially that it was Tom Baker. I know. 
Like, it looks like you were saying that no, while you guys are okay. watching the video. So family so secret. Announcement family secret. <laughs> <laughs> after this show is over and after we've had lunch, I am so calling Tom to go, you got to watch this episode. <laughs> You'll get a kick out of it. Very cute. Yeah, super cute. Um, some yellow in there, though. Like, not you wearing yellow nails, but we're getting another yellow oh, thrown in there. I'm wondering if maybe you, uh, yellow is becoming your spirit animal. It could be my spirit <laughs> animal. However, yellow is brightness. Yellow yeah. is sunshine. Mm -hmm. Yellow is energy and positivity. Yeah. And that's the underlying like glow that I think C&D has yeah. always had. Mm -hmm. So I'll take it. Because you do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Starts with you. Just saying. Just saying. Um, let's go to number 11, Marissa. I love... Yeah. I was a huge fan of these nails. Uh -huh. I, I just love the inverse of the um, the two nails that kind of have, like, the fanning out. Yeah. And then I just thought, like, they were so cool. Like, how you mixed up the outlines and the mm. traditional mm -hmm. French smile line and then the, the swirls and the... The middle lines. The reverse I, on the two middles being really opposite cool. colors. And the gradient. Mm -hmm. Like, I just thought this was a cool interpretation of a French. Like, I would wear these yeah. in, in a, a heartbeat. Ha Absolutely. Yeah. Do you Smart. remember those sweaters that had the stripe across the middle? You know, like it was all like it was all white, oh, yeah. but then it had like the double one, color across yeah. the middle. Like I want to wear a sweater like that with this totally. outfit. Yeah, totally. totally. And, and have these mono, nails. Right? Yeah, it blush, would just be so cute. Like shades yeah. of blush and yeah. white. It would be. That'd be beautiful. No, they're beautiful. Yeah. I love that ring finger on the right hand and the yeah. the you know white nude white nude, but then it was it's soft. Mm -hmm. Right, like softened. It's, right, it's almost like airbrushed, Other. feeling the way she worked I, the product. Yeah, I feel like these are very editorial nails. Like this yeah. is something we really want in the magazine. Um, but yeah, but I just my one thing would be in the video. I feel like we just didn't get to know enough about them. Like yeah. I, I wanted to like know a little bit more the technique about them. But um, but I mean. They're just stunning. They're stunning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I would add to what you just said, I find them extremely flattering. Yeah. Like dropping mm -hmm. the smile line, making those yeah, they lines are. curvy and sexy. Like they're yeah. really on any nail type, yeah. on any I, hand, yeah, they would be so yeah. super mm -hmm. flattering. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're subtle in their sophistication. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes less is more. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I agree. Yeah. yeah. And the opposite of that. Opposite. <laughs> Let's go to number 12. Whoa. Which is more is more. <laughs> uh, more is more. Um, hello, Jan. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Do you know, you know what this actually <laughs> reminds me of? In the year 2000, uh -huh. we were very famous for 20 years about our parties that yeah. we would throw in Las Vegas. Okay. Aligned to Cosmoprop and the BBSI. Oh, yeah. No, I knew about that. Our parties were famous. Uh -huh. And our 2000 party was Austin Power Party. Oh, that is oh, get so out. cool. Where we that is had so cool. Round beds <laughs> instead of couches. We <laughs> yeah, <had> baby. Hot <laughs> pockets. Oh, we oh had my TV gosh. dinners. That is oh, that's so great. Weird. And fembots. <laughs> that's great. And so this set of nails reminded me of that party. Kind of looks like a fembot. Austin yeah, Power yeah, Party. Yeah, fembot that's style. What I get. Mm -hmm. This would be very yeah. fembot. So that took me back to the to the party. <laughs> that is yeah. so really yeah. funny. Uh, the little, the little puffy, puffy puff puffs. I would, I would totally rock those. But she had it, if I recall, because I watched the videos a couple days ago. Wasn't it on a magnet? Was this one the one that was I'm on a magnet? I'm not remembering. No, it exactly. might be the next set. I could be mixed Brilliant. up. But anyways, love these. I want, I want to be able to have them and remove them. Because I, I want to be able to wash my hands and not deflate my puff puffs. Well, right. But yeah. they're I thought, super cute. I, I would rock those puffs. Special how she used the glass. From the car accident. Yeah. Like, oh, yes. So oh, how could we forget that? Really, and she said touching. she was saving them. It's been in her in her bag. Yeah, in her purse. So I just oh. thought that, like, I'm glad she took oh. them out and, like, this is the time yeah. to, you know, really go for it. Yeah. Right here at the finale. Yeah. yeah. So I love that she did that, too. It's it's cool to turn that situation into art. Into something yeah. beautiful. And in this final, you know, really important piece. Yeah. So. You go, girl. Yes. Congrats. Fine. Yeah, Good well job. done. Good job. Our final finalist, <laughs> Nixie Rose from the United Kingdom. She, I don't know if you know this. She lives where Alice in Wonderland was written. And Ooh. and there's in, in the churchyard, there's a little fake grave to Alice there. Yeah. 
amazing. I know, only in the How UK. special, it's only in the UK. UK is so cool. So cool. Uh, let's watch uh, Nixie's video and we'll come back and talk about her submissions after the video. Yay. Hi guys, welcome back to my last video of Next Top Nail Artist Season 6. For this last challenge, we were asked to create five sets, each representing a different era in the history of creative nail design. For our first set, we've been asked to pay homage to the family's roots across 10 nail tips. CND began in 1979 when Dr. Stuart S. Nordstrom, a dentist, developed the idea for a revolutionary new nail product. Once Dr. Nordstrom had patented his brand new cross thinking formula, he gifted it to his son Jim and his daughter Jan, and it wasn't long before the whole family were on board, each with their own role within the increasingly successful company. I was so taken with the story of how Dr. Nordstrom managed to devise such an incredible product um, that was so far removed from his usual line of work. So I thought a really cool way to show you the transition from dentistry to nail enhancements would be by creating a family crest or coat of arms for the Nordstrom family. I think it is fair to say that Jan Arnold is the figurehead of CND, so I had to include her as the centre to my piece. I painted multiple layers of breezes gel and shellac onto backing paper, making sure to cure between each layer, and then tidied the edges of the portrait using my e-file. I wanted to mix up nail and dental products as much as possible in this design, so I used dental floss to give Jan her signature stylish haircut, which also made her smell minty fresh. The 10 tips I used as my base were great for forming fingers with nail tips one side and teeth and gums the other. I built them up using acrylic to give the shape and add colour. I built up some colour using shellac and blue eyeshadow and then used an empty toothpaste tube to create a banner with a traditional coat of arms font. I used some nail art paste to create a rustic filigree effect that imitates toothpaste on one side and nail product on the other. Coats of arms generally include shields, swords and other forms of armoury. For this set I have just the thing, toothpick swords. And as a finishing touch, I made Jan a fascinator using the chemical formula of acrylic and added some crystals to symbolise the connection between molecules and maybe even the connection between family. During the 1980s, Solar Nail, CND's first acrylic system, took off and the classic French was born. Over the years, the iconic pink and white has changed shape and style many times, but it's still the go to treatment. For our second challenge, we have been asked to create an updated version of a French manicure using CND's retention acrylic system. According to whowhatwear.com, style trends for 2019 include a return to the 80s, which is very fitting for this challenge. Neon collars, big bold embellishments and leopard print are making a comeback and I for one am buzzing. Other inspiration comes from oversized retro accessories in the style of Iris Apfel. For this challenge, I took inspiration from large and garish 80s acrylic jewellery, updating the classic pink and white with sharp lines, neon accents, jewellery themed embellishments and negative space and shadows. To make some neon accents, I recycled the bead mold that I created for my En Vogue challenge and made little acrylic pellets that I could then mix into a different coloured acrylic, uh, which created a kind of abstract granite effect once I filed and polished it. I sculpted geometric shapes and backing paper that I could then peel off and layer up onto my nails. In 1995, CND became the first company to showcase nails on the runway. While the hair and makeup had been taken care of, until then nail art had been largely ignored. That was until Jan Arnold managed to convince fashion designer Cynthia Rowley that nails had earned their place, and they haven't left the catwalk since. For our third challenge, entitled Fashion First, we were given a very simple brief, 
of creating a watercolour design across 10 nail tips. While I have dabbled in the fashion world of my previous life as a shoe designer, my best friend Holly is a textiles designer and creates stunning prints for companies such as Alexander McQueen, John Galliano and H&M. For this set, I wanted to be extra creative of how I displayed my nail tips. So I had the idea of creating sort of a mid-90s style shoe and then using photos of flowers that I found in my garden to create a fabric style print. I always like to keep the plastic inserts in shellac boxes because they're really, really good as paint palettes and they even have um, like a little well that you can put your isopropyl alcohol if you're doing a watercolour technique like this. So I'm using um, shellac colours in Temptation, Gummy and Blue Eyeshadow and I'm loading my brush with isopropyl alcohol and applying that to the polish when it's on my nail tip which helps to disperse the colour and create a watercolour effect. Shellac is strong and it's also incredibly flexible, so I thought it'd be ideal to create the straps on my shoe. So I painted it onto backing paper and then cured it, and I think I layered it about five times um, before removing the sticky layer of isopropyl alcohol and then trimming to tidy uh, to create my straps. For the finishing touch I recreated one of the flowers in my photos using the same technique and then added some Swarovski crystals. The 2000s saw the launch of CND's first gel system, Brisa Gel. For Challenge 4, entitled Brisa and Beyond, we were asked to create a crystal ball look into the, nail, into the future of nails. This set had to be 3D and presented on actual hands. Being a lover of all things magical, I decided to take the theme literally and build my own crystal ball out of clear Brisa gel. I recycled my broken acrylic tray from my wildflowers challenge and etched my own personalised CND spirit board, the future reflected. I inlaid the etching using gel polish and polished to a high shine. I sculpted clear Brita gel onto a lotion bottle before curing and then removed it to create the smashed half of my crystal ball. For my mini Nixie, I created a maquette out of wire and bulked up using masking tape. Once I had near enough the right dimensions, I sculpted the outer layer using acrylic. Cut off the fibres from some faux fur and glued them on in layers to build up my hair. The next step was to sculpt my gel nails over forms and assemble the pieces together. Nixie, Nixie, our shoe artist. I have to cop, come, come. You know, I gotta be honest here. Mm -hmm. Every time Nixie comes up for Beth and I, it goes to shoes. Yeah, which just sucked you right in oh, to the I, shoe thing. I'm like, let's you guys talk it's all about, about shoes. the shoes. So I just want to throw out there, just so you know, Nixie. Um, Jan's the same size shoe I am. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. No hint. Just saying. Just, Just saying. saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. But so oh, for me, Nixie is one of those artists, I feel like, and I said this behind the scenes with you guys, she's kind of that artist where you could just hand her, you know, I don't know, some Play-Doh, uh, some water, and I don't know, something ridiculous, and just go make me something, and she would just, yeah, and it would be it something. Happen. Yeah. Yeah, she's like one of those shoe artists. I think that the medium could be any, like she, it's nails is just another medium. Shoes was a medium. Yeah, she's I agree. really cool I agree. like yeah. that. Yeah, really creative, really yeah. clever. And I have to say, this first set of nails. Yeah, yeah, number fifteen, Marissa. Sure. The family crest. Uh huh. Absolutely. That was a cool way to go with the crest idea. Yeah, genius. Yes. To, yeah, to to integrate this idea of dental, mm. you know, the toothpaste to 
the dental floss hair. I like, loved it. Hello. I loved like, it. This is this I is, need to get a, a dental floss. Yeah, this is early <laughs> Sandy. <Extensions. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I actually I, I was telling Jan on the way over here too, I feel like sometimes we fault competitors that they use something and don't make it. Mm. But I felt like in this instance mm -hmm. it was a win to use Such actual floss. And like all, all the the toothpaste tube, like I thought it was more beneficial for her that yeah. she didn't make it all. I mean, she made the teeth, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, pretty but, impressive. Um, well, no, I loved and, it. And then also that tie of dentistry. Like my dad was mm -hmm. our original inventor, but many of the protocols that we teach in education, like in dentistry, you need a clean, sanitary mm -hmm. environment. Mm -hmm. I see. You need to have a dry, dehydrated Got surface. It. For the polymer to stick like so many of the principles integrated into our education mm -hmm. has really led the way yeah. in empowering nail professionals to use our products Wonderful. with intelligence yeah Wonderful. and i think nixie you you so captured it I loved it's it. so brilliant like it's just even like chemistry through chemistry the chemistry i like the, the fascinator yeah but didn't she apologize for so having upside it upside down, upside down. <laughs> don't I'm tell like, don't tell don't tell don't, I'm not oh gonna my god tell that's Doug. so funny that was funny i, I thought that was cute yeah. i think it was cute it's i like this one intricate and this was another good Good visual of you. Yeah, that, again, I mean, that does. You really have look to get, like you know, you. you have to go. I'm gonna get the face right, and I, I like that yeah. she chose to do it kind of in a black and white because this is, this is early C and D days. Yeah. This picture yeah. when your hair was this way. Yeah. I love it. I think love it's cute. It, it was really. very artistic. She's so artistic. Um, number sixteen, Marissa, is her take on the French. Right, and well, she went very eighties. And I totally feel like 80s. Carly and Ashton kind of were looking at French. How do I read French? And it's like she went more for the 80s, which of course is when Solar Nail yeah. um, came out. So yeah. Interesting so. twist. It's really, I feel like when I look at these nails, I want to wear them. Yeah, bangles. Jewelry. Bangles. Bangles. Yeah. And earrings. Yeah, earrings. And inspired, like, yeah. you know, a big That thumbnail ring. looks like a pair of earrings. Yeah, it's an accessory. I had when I was two years old. Completely. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> To your point, the mm -hmm. you know the fact that Nixie has her roots in fashion, right, and, right, and, and shoemaking and accessories, yeah. and accessories yeah. it really shows in this set. I of agree. Nails. I yeah. agree. One of the cool things, and she did, she's done this multiple times, that you know she could easily take a paint and do you know, these polka dots and right. stuff. But instead what she does is she makes a mold, right. she makes right. the polka dots, right. she pops them out, she puts them in the polymer, yeah. builds a nail out of it, and then uses Cooper Ifa to ah! bring it down. It's brilliant. And to pop the to polka reveal dots. It. So she totally right. could have right. just painted them. So there's so much more right. appreciation just it, yeah. for the yeah. structure no, of right. this where she kept the integrity of the product and didn't pull in an acrylic paint. Right. And know? also, I really right. like the tip. I don't know if it was this set. It's one of the sets in here, though, with the shellac trays. So she used the trays. Yeah. And I was like, that is I know so why she did that. useful. Recycling and, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and being everyone, inventive. When I get my nails done, the tech is always looking for yep. like a palette. And you're like, that's perfect. It's perfect. Loved it. Good it tip. was cute. Good tip. It was cute because Beautiful. that tray became the way she was able to put um, like alcohol. Yeah, because you can it hold the alcohol and, on the and side. Yeah, watercolor. Yeah, exactly. I think it was the shoe. It's the shoe. It was the shoe. Perfect Let's talk segue. about the shoe. Oh, Because of course, shoe. she had to have a shoe. I like in how there. she finally gave in and was like, these I know. girls yeah. want a shoe so right? bad. I'll make them a shoe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get off my yeah, back. Yeah, I know. Here, we're and back. And their nails. Those are the nails. I know, that is the real The ball of the foot and the toes is a set, and then the nails are coming up the arch of the set. And I loved watching her paint the shoe like I thought that mm -hmm. was really cool because yeah. it's not um it's not enclosed so she had to do all the work on yep. the sole and I just loved kind of watching that I'm this like, strap God. was fun because mm -hmm. yeah. she used the, the flexibility of the shellac yeah. and she she built the strap she even in her shoe knowledge used a real clasp and attached like I watched her attach the clasp and I went oh that's how they do it mm -hmm. and then fed the strap through the clasp and everything, so she's gone full on. Well, I wonder what size this shoe is. I know, is. really. <laughs> <laughs> is there another one? Is there, is there another there match one? Can't, can't be hobbling around on one shoe. We're being shameless. <laughs> I thought it was a very creative way, and this is Nixie. 
This is Nixie. Yeah, yeah. Nixie totally. Is, and for me, this shoe. is a 90s shoe, too. Yeah. Like, yeah, she'd stay true. true to the era, you That's know? That's really right. a good point. Yeah. Right. I yeah. love Because this is the what shape was and more and fashionable yeah, it's, Exactly. The for sensibility of color as well, I want to really call out yeah. here. Because you really know how to work with color, bring yeah. the best out in color. Pop it against white, outline it in black. Yep. Like, there's a certain totally. way to really make color pop. And Nixie knows how to yeah, do that. Yeah, she, she does. definitely she does. does. Agreed. It's funny. I said that last set was totally Nixie, but really, let's talk about <laughs> number right. eighteen. Because you don't Seriously. get more Nixie. Because number eighteen this. really this. is Nixie. Oh my god! <laughs> and you know what's really funny is in the video when she shows the evolution of little Nixie. Yes. You know, first it's the product, yes. and then the paint comes on, and then what she did to the hair. Really, once she got it all colored on, I went. That's Nixie. It I is. thought it was just a nail tech. Like she was putting a nail tech no, into the piece. But then when she got it all painted, that's her face. I love, love her. her face. I yeah. love the set. Like I love to see, because we were kind of talking, you know, based on her interview. Uh -huh. You know, it's a big ask for her to come to Orlando in front of all these yeah. people and kind of deal with some of the, the issues she's had. Mm -hmm. And I love that in this set, it's just so joyous. It's like and popping like out. And like happy it's to free. be here. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. And I love that the little Ouija board is like about the future yeah. and it's, you know, C and D branded, and, and she it's etching Nixie. like all the of that was in, cool to and then watch. putting yeah. the Amazing. the product in it's there so to cool. make it look like that. But I well, just love the happiness the technique. in this. Thing. And it yeah. gives that gives me chills. What you just yeah. said, it's mm -hmm. like it's empowerment yeah. for Nixie yeah, it is. to imagine yeah. her success to walk into right. the big room right. at NTNA and feel yeah. bold. Yeah. Like you have to envision mm -hmm. your wins and yeah. your success. And Nixie's already programming her thinking good. to be that champion. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I think I, hope I think so. it's a good I hope lesson I hope for they each, all of them. I was gonna say yeah. I hope they're each, each doing that. Yes. Yes. Gotta be I the agree. win. Sure. I agree. Be sure. the win. Be the win. Plus, I love the leopard leggings. I know, right? Like the leopard leggings. Yeah. And her so, little pink shoes. They're so good. Her Everything shirt says Nail Tech Network. I know. Thank yeah. you. Uh huh. Yeah. It's yeah, really, I, really I love well so cute. And the hair. She I did love it. The uh, hair. She did yeah. her hair. Her hair is it's just, just too cute. cute. Nice. Um, yeah. Well done. Yeah. I I've been watching. I've, everybody's just giving so much love and comments. Good. Um, especially we've got Ricky on the Koopa chat and ours and feeding comments. If anybody has any questions, now's your chance to do it because we're about to wrap up and otherwise, here's the, the thing. <laughs> if you don't get to ask her a question here today, get that ticket now. Go to Nails Mag. Yes. Yeah, go to NailsMag.com forward slash, I gotta look it up because NTNA. I should know this by heart by now. NTNA Social 2019. Perfect. Because those tickets are going to sell out. I said this every week. Don't show up and walk into the door thinking you're going to get a right. ticket because right. this event sells out and you right. don't want to miss it. So. And I think we have a few special surprises. Yes, oh, we so do. So you definitely don't want to miss oh, it. Oh, even it's better. Be a party. I know my part wear of the surprises. Wear your dancing shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Wear your party. Special wear your shoes. party game. <laughs> yep. Totally. Yeah. Um... No, just more comments. Detail blows my mind with all of them. That's from Karen Berryman. How about in your chat? No, just no. Kelsey. Observe um, Kelsey's here. Kelsey, who was in our contest. And yeah. she says hi to Dan Aww. and Elaine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of it. I think we're all just all right. ready. So I have to at least close up. I don't want to say thank you or kiss anybody goodbye yet, but I do have to remind everybody because this is so important for for Koopa, our keynote next week, mm -hmm. my, um, Wednesday the 29th, finally, we've been teasing this for the most ridiculous <laughs> amount of time. So tune in Wednesday 11 a.m. for the Koopa keynote. We have a very huge announcement that we're going to be making. Um, we want to remind everybody that, you know, NTNA may have given you the bug and you want to compete. Mm -hmm. So Nailympia, it's not too late. You can sign up, uh, reach out at nailympia.com. And you can click on Orlando. You can see all the, the categories and where to go to sign up. So don't miss your chance to get your feet wet in competition and learn how to do it. Take some good feedback from your scores and, and evolve. Um, did the tickets. Yes. 
Thank you. Has clo has gel twos voting it has, closed? It closes it's Friday. Friday. So yes, so go to ntna.nailsmag.com, vote for your favorite contestant, it can be any of the top twelve. We'll be announcing that winner at Premier Orlando as well at our party. Yeah. yeah. So reminder, next week is gonna be the keynote, so no NTNA right. show. But the keynote will also be on Nails Facebook. Yep, page. it'll be on both yep. pages, so yep. tune in for that. The following week, which is the day after the show, we're all traveling, cut us some slack. Um, we're going to have something running, but it's going to be pre-recorded. But then the following Wednesday, Beth and I will be back. We'll have chronological order show on the entire Orlando weekend yep. from setup yep. to classes to the social, the networking, yep. uh, the Olympia. <laughs> I don't know. Season I'm, finale. I'm my mind. Season finale. Yes. yes. And the yeah. winners. And who is the winner going to be? I know. We don't well, know. Lord have mercy. We what don't a know. tough race. Yeah. Ugh. Every single one of you have done just the most amazing job. What a joy. Yeah. To Truly. see these finale Truly. Incredible. Meals. And we can't wait to see the twist. I yeah. know. Yeah. Can't that wait. might be the. Um, what decides it? Yeah. The deciding factor. Could be factor. the deciding yeah. factor. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Jan, thank you so much oh, for coming all the way here from your beautiful queendom of CNG. What a um, joy. Every time we get to have you here is always just the best. It's so I much fun. I'd love to spend time with you, my sister. My sister. <laughs> and good to see all yeah, of you. Yeah, and thank you so all for fun. tuning in every week. Yeah. We're so happy you take the time to tune in and, and join us on our show. And hope to see you in Florida. I hope I oh, see no. you in Orlando. Yeah. Yeah. Orlando. Bye. Bye. Colors and patterns help us express ourselves, show the world who we are. Sometimes I wake up and I feel girly, sometimes I'm flirty, sometimes I feel free, but most days I just feel like me. Show the world who you want to be. Color me curious. Join us May 29th on our Facebook page for the big reveal.